Hello, welcome to today's video. Today I am going to make a jiggly red slime with orange foam beads and some orange glitters. This is what my partner decided to choose. So let's get started. I'm going to take about that much slime out of my slime container. This is pre-made slime, which is just white glue and borax which is one cup of water to one teaspoon of borax so i made that pretty advanced because it's a bit easier to make slime when it's pretty advanced so now i'm going to add in my water about that much i've never made jiggly slimes before sorry i'm just playing my sleeves so this may work, may not, we'll see how we go. So it's just about incorporating in the water. So I'm going to just take out the slime. put it onto my table and I can always add in the water later. I can always put it back into the water. I just want to incorporate this water as I can tell. And it's going to slowly melt down the slime. So it still needs more water, so I'm going to add it back into my bowl and just press in the water. Just incorporate it in. My partner wants it to be jiggly slime, so that's what I'm trying to achieve. But I've never made jiggly slime. So this is going to be interesting. So now we're going to try and use this. It kind of goes to the cheese curd stage again, which is fine. Getting it there and incorporating in all the water. Alright, so I'm going to add in the food colouring there. Which he wanted red, so I'm putting in red food coloring. I don't have much left in this bottle, so we'll see how we go. You do will get dye everywhere. But that's what happens when you add food colouring in. Some more red. But 
close to none left. I can always resort to clay if needed. Because a little bit of clay goes a long way. Okay, I'm going to put it back in the water and try and get some, incorporate some more water into it. So it's basically completely melted it now. store-bought mm -hmm. sort of texture all right and with my potato so i'm just gonna add in a little bit and you know it's definitely jiggly it's back to being activated it's kind of on that rippy jiggly stage. But my partner prefers rippy size because he can get sticky hands where everything sticks to his hands and he hates it. But yeah, it's, it's jiggly now. Finding my red clay, which I'm just using the Daiso clay, which is fine. So I'm just going to start off with about this much, it's nice and soft. No bits in it. I'm just gonna add it in. It may change the texture a little bit, but the red big clay wasn't enough to change it to red. And I don't think much will. So it's just about incorporating in clay but to begin with okay so weird just about getting in all the clay bits this is what's going to take the process This is going to turn red as such right now in that much clay, so I'm going to add in a bit more. And I'm going to 
that doesn't mix again. So it does take a while for the clay to be added in. I must admit. So I don't tend to use clay very often. But it's starting to go into the red colour that I'm after. It is slightly pinkish, but I don't want to add too much clay to change the texture completely because it's not very jiggly anymore. So I will add it into some more water once I've mixed it in the clay just to make it a bit more sticky for the foam beads. It's not very jiggly. It's more firm now. So I think the clay has just soaked up the water for some reason. Usually I use Kmart clays because I find them cheaper and a lot of it goes a long way. So that's basically mixed in now. So I'm going to add some more water to my bowl. I'm just going to add in that whole bowl or the rest of the bowl which is about a third water. And I'm going to add it to the bowl and just see how we go. And hopefully the rest of the clay mixes in. It's going to go really jiggly and the foam beads will stick to it. This will be the last time of adding it into the water. Only because once the foam beads go in, then the foam beads will come straight back out once I put them in. Alright, so I'm going to take out the slime. It's going to make a big mess on my desk. Water that the excess water. I'm gonna add a touch of activator. Just because that will help that. It will still be jiggly. See, I told my partner what sort of slime would you like and he said a red jiggly slime with orange frame beads in it so I said okay I can do that and then I decided to put in orange glitters as well when it comes to that stage so it's definitely jiggly now there is still some water on the bench, that's okay. It's got to its jiggly stage. So now I'm gonna add in my foam beads. I have to open up with press scissors because my hands are slippery. And I will be adding in the whole packet anyway. So 
that's just about incorporating them all in. Add a bowl of water. So I don't have any more orange foam beans, but it's still not crunchy like I would have liked it to be. Because we did add in the clay so and the water, so it has expanded the slime quite a bit. So I'm going to add in some orange pearls, or they're kind of like a bronze pearl. I don't know what they're called. Don't worry about that much and see how we go. I got them from Cheapest Chips for two dollars a bag, I believe. I know you won't be able to see it through the slime, but I still want to add my little cute little star orange. But they look really cute and adorable. I love them. Oops, I threw the bottle in. So you won't be able to see them. But that's okay. It's red, it's jiggly, it's got the foam beads in it. So, shouldn't complain too much. But he might. It's stretchy, kind of. It does rip towards the end. But that's because it is jiggly but that's all for today's video is my partner wanted me to make this slime so i made him this slime and i thought i'd film it this week thank you all for watching come subscribe like this video if you want to see more of these follow me on my instagram at affordable slimes and we'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.